Good morning. My name's Tom Middleton. Some call me the Jedi Knight, some call me Cosmos. Mod wheel, secret ingredients, global communication even. Recently I was Amber, now I've sacked all of them. It's just me, Tom Middleton. Good morning, nice to see you. So tonight I'm doing a show called Life Tracks. Uh, it's really nine years in the making. The album uh, is a collection of personal soundtracks that really are inspired by history, people, places and experiences that have kind of been created in the background to the other things that I've been doing, for example, DJing, remixing, production, uh, and some of the more sort of mainstream dance stuff. So this, for me, is really doing what I've always wanted to do. In other words, uh, the, the real music, if you like. Uh, and what, what an amazing opportunity. I'm, I'm privileged to be here to, to be able to, to share this collection of music. And I think if, if uh, people don't know it, to say names like Craig Armstrong's string arrangements for Massive Attacks, Unfinished Sympathy, uh, Brian Eno, Vangelis, a um, bit of uh, Boards of Canada, a bit of uh, Zero Seven, a bit of Air, blend that all together and maybe you're somewhere near the sound that I've got, all synchronised to visuals. We've got an amazing visual artist called uh, Ben Mason who's coming along to, to make sure that all the the pictures synchronise with the music, so it should be should be really interesting to see how it works in this context on a big screen. I think we're in an amazing time right now for technology. I take a laptop with me and my orchestra is on a laptop. I could also bring a real orchestra if I wanted to. Um, I could I could uh, remove the orchestra and the band and just play everything off a laptop. Um, and integrating this all into a live show has been really interesting because um, the, the VJ uses uh, Pioneer DVJs to, to play back the, the, the visuals. So uh, if it wasn't for this technology, I, you know, I, don't, I don't think we'd be able to pull off this show. We need this, this kit to enable us to do it. Um, and, and I've actually witnessed this evolution of kit change from being a, a vinyl DJ um, using turntables. And then over the years, you know, I started getting into things like bringing mini disc recorders along and as soon as the, the, the crossover and transition to, to, to digital occurred and finally there was a product, a CDJ, to play CDs in the club, I was so happy. It meant that I could bring um, almost a, a full library of music with me rather than having to carry you know, a couple of crates of records and a, and a few mates bringing another couple of crates just in case. Uh, I remember there was a point where I used to probably take about 300 records to a gig, and that's, that's heavy duty, back-breaking stuff. So I'm really happy now that we've got to this point where the, the technology allows us to, you know, to bring um, literally just a, a, a laptop and a handful of CDs and, and use uh, DVJs or CDJs through uh, a variety of DJ and mixers. Um, yes, yeah, the ideal setup for me. I was, I was really upset last night actually on the, the stage where I was playing. They didn't have the mixer I wanted. You know, I, was, I was hoping that I was hoping there'd be an 800 there. Which uh, I have to say, most of the clubs I play at now, that seems to be the standard kit now. There's a CDJ 1000 Mark III, a pair of them, and a, a DJ an 800. Uh, sometimes in the FX 1000, but mostly you have to bring your own. <laughs> um, but yeah, last night it was it wasn't to be. I wasn't able to do what I normally do, which is um, twist up tracks on the fly. However, we, we still rocked it and had a good time in there. Andy and Dawn said to me, you're the most versatile DJ we've ever met. That's why we want you to do the main room manumission, because you can program music in between the shows. And obviously it's really quite a challenge. People are there for the entertainment. So if you're not entertaining them, they're going to go home. And that's a big room to fill, so you've got to make sure that after one of the stage shows, you come straight in with a, you know, a, a big tune to get, get, people, uh, get people's attention and hold the floor for the duration of the, the shows. So it's quite a challenge for me. 